Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. The two dreams that I will be sharing with you today were emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Lizelle, where she shares with us her mother's two very encouraging dreams. And in her email, it says, Hello, Amber. Thank you very much for all your hard work on your channel. You are truly such a blessing to me and my family. Keep on with the great work for Christ until he comes to take his bride home. I have two dreams that I would like to share with you that my mother had in 2021 and 2022. So in this dream, my mother was about 30 years old. She said she was dressed in older clothes, which resembled the clothing of old Israel when Jesus was there. She said that she was in a large crowd of people and knew that she was in Israel, Jerusalem, and was following the large crowd knowing that Jesus was in front of the crowd. She was struggling and was fighting to get to Jesus, but no matter how much she tried, she couldn't reach him. Then she got to a large boulder and got up and started screaming, Jesus, three times. That is when Jesus stopped, turned around, and looked into the crowd. As soon as he laid his eyes on my mom, he started smiling and laughing. She could see the sun glistening on his teeth. She said that she just stood there for which felt like minutes and could not stop staring but also did not know what to say or do because of her utter amazement towards him. She said that she had felt pure love and joy when he looked directly at her. He then turned around again, and that is when my mother woke up. Afterwards, she had got this sudden realization that Jesus was literally on his way to give his life for her on the cross. Let me start by saying that in 2020, my mother started praying for a rapture dream and asked God if the rapture is soon. So one Saturday afternoon, she was taking a nap while all of a sudden she heard this urgent knocking at her front door. I also have to mention that this is not possible because the yard is surrounded with very high walls all the way around. She became instantly very irritated and annoyed at this person knocking on the door and also thinking to herself, how is this possible for anybody to enter my yard? She then flung the door open and all of a sudden it was as if the sun was shining straight through the door. It was a bright, bright white light she immediately held her arm up to her face to cover her eyes from this bright light. She was trying to look into the light from under her arm and the first thing she saw were feet that had sandals on and she saw a robe-like garment. The person in front of her, she said, was so tall that the middle of his body reached my mother's head. He then reached through the safety gate with his large hand and said to her, Elizabeth, it is time. She then immediately woke up right after this.
I have two more dreams from my mother, which are about the tribulation that I also want to share with the channel, and I will be sharing them soon, God willing. I hope that these dreams will bless and encourage the Bride of Christ, who are eagerly awaiting His soon, very soon return. We are going to see our King, Maranatha, Lord Jesus, lots of love, from your sister in Christ, Lazelle. Thank you so much, Lazelle, for sharing these two very beautiful and encouraging rapture dreams from your mother. May God bless you and your mother as well. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, Grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death, Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches.